kami yung dahilan ko bakit din na kayo pat- Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jazz as they play against the Chicago Bulls. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their rotation. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. Now, we'll see how they overcome it. And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Allie. Well, last season, DeMar DeRozan set the all-time record for consecutive games with over 35 points and above 50% field goal shooting, surpassing the great Wilt Chamberlain. DeMar said, quote, as a fan of the history of the game, to have the privilege of these opportunities, it's something I never take for granted. Brian? Oh, incredible. Thanks, Allie. We've got two teams here that like to play up-tempo. Hoping to find lots of fast break points tonight, RJ. Yeah, it could be tough when both squads have this type of speed. It makes it a little bit harder to escape the defense. And look, everybody will keep the ball locked up tight tonight. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. And it's all in at the point. And for the Jazz. Colin Sexton out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Rudy Gay. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Now here's Clarkson. Pass to Markkinen. Covered by Vucevic. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. DeRozan outside. Vucevic, a screen on Markkinen. Here's DeRozan. The rebound by Markkinen. Pass to Sexton. Oh, they get a hand on it. Levine with a steal. Here's Ball. Now DeRozan. Vucevic, a screen on Markkinen. DeRozan finds Vucevic. Just five to shoot. Williams from long range. Offensive board. And the power finished by Vucevic. A player that seemingly inhales rebounds. Vucevic attacks the glass with great energy. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Sexton with it. Guarded now by Williams. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. For Chicago, they've gone one for three so far. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And, and what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner. And he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Here's Gay. It's hauled in by the Bulls. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. Yeah, your second unit, those reserves, they can swing a game. All no good. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Pass to Clarkson. Now here's Sexton. Not going to go that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. This game against Utah, the first time they've met this year. Despite playing in different conferences, it's been a contentious rivalry. These teams share plenty of history. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. On the offensive end, Zach Levine plays with just such confidence. He knows that the team counts on him for production, so he goes out and he gets it. Misses the free throw. 
Now Levine is certainly one of the more prolific scorers Richard. Yeah his shooting has put him in the top 20 scores in this league in back to back seasons with more on the way I'm pretty sure he makes it just look so easy just effortless sometimes it's just like he's doing his job. The Bulls making a switch here. The Sumo's checked in. Unusual for him. He'd been in a groove from the line. Right side Sexton. Back to Markinen. Pass to Gay. From the wing. Zach Levine clears it away. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Here's DeRozan. Plenty of room to knock down that one. And he's oh, talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. And Utah calls time here. And a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year. Almost 300 more than anyone else. Most automatic from the line. The league's best free throw shooting small forwards. Number five is DeMar DeRozan. And it's clear that these guys work hard on maintaining their free throw shooting. It's why they're among the best in the league in that category. As good as they are from the line, it forces an opposing defense to play with caution against them. And that's never a good thing. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Sexton with it. They really needed more from him in that loss to Phoenix. Floats one. Some solid defense from Williams. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside. DeRozan outside. Vucevic, a screen on Markkinen. Goes up at the elbow. It doesn't go for him. And Utah will come the other way. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. Here's Sexton. The Jazz again can't hit. The Bulls have gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Here's DeSumo. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Now here's Vucevic. Back to DeRozan. Four on the clock. Over Clarkson. The rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got his fifth rebound in this one. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. And it's in there. That's a blue collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Levine against Clarkson. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. What determination from Levine. Finding his finish despite the contact. Clarkson passes to Sexton. 
in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Levine passes to Vucevic. Pass to Desumu. Outside Levine. Launches it. On target from range. Levine. Levine's got five. And since being drafted in 2014, Levine has put in the work to get his three-point shot where he likes it, really upgrading that deep game. And Utah calls time here. in for Nikola Vucevic. Bradley comes in for Williams. And it's Caruso in for DeRozan. possession. It's a three-point game. Back to Horton Tucker. That one falls. Yeah, he was able to sneak into the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. For Chicago, they've gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. It's stolen by Olenek. Down low. Here's Markkinen. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Bledsoe against Caruso. Outside Levine. Jacks up a three. Utah with the rebound. Markkinen's got six rebounds in the game. The offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Now here's Caruso. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Drummond. Buried from 15 feet out. And the Bulls lead by one. <laughs> I'll tell you, when he rises up to shoot, and with his height advantage, oh, he knows he's going to get a clean look. Yeah, the defender just lacks the reach to be able to contest him properly. Caruso against Bledsoe. Pass to Bradley. Here's the sumo. Drummond with the bucket. Drummond's got his second basket of the game. This is the exact energy you'd like to see from Drummond. He can be a monster on the offensive glass. Now here's Bledsoe. Now Markkinen, out left to the wing. Clock at six. Fires the three. Oh, and Bradley with a block. And here's Levine. He's got five. 
Bradley sets a screen. From 13. Shot by Levine, no good. Utah trailing here. Bledsoe outside. Pass to market it. From downtown. Can't get it to drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Caruso outside. Drummond with the ball. Guarded by Olenek. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. Bledsoe, pass to Olenek. Olenek with a screen on Caruso to the inside. Drummond grabs the miss. Chicago's gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Pass to DeSumo. Oh, there's the alley! The shot by Drummond, no good. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Outside Olenek, to the right side. And here's Markkinen. And he comes up with a bucket. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Chicago leading. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Drummond. Oh, Lennox with some nice D. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Caruso against Bledsoe. To the paint. Up in time. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bulls out in front, leading by three. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. even matchup after this first quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a mid-season lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Nikola Vucevic. Goran Dragic is out there with Kobe White. Then there's Derek Jones. And it's DeRozan in at the three. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Now Sexton. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Clarkson. Wide open. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Now here's Vucevic. With some arc. The shot no good. Gay with the ball. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Gay, a screen on Dragic. Back to Gay. Shot clock at six. They set a pick. Misses off the left iron. For Chicago, they've got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Dragic passes to White. Outside Jones. Picked by Vucevic. Dragic outside. Pass to Vucevic. Utah with the rebound. 
And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Gay with the ball. Here's Horton Tucker, defended by DeRozan. And there's the lob. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Yeah, you know, guys, he was selected all the way back in 2006. But Rudy Gay is still going. One of the final players from the draft class active in the league. And for Rudy Gay, over 15 years in the league, Grant, how is he still effective? Well, B.A., Rudy has changed the way he plays over the years. He came into the NBA exclusively playing the three. Now he's a power forward. Even runs a bit as a small ball center as well. That free throw misses. Known as a mid-range master with incredible footwork, DeRozan in this game just continued to age like fine wine. Williams has checked in for Chicago. And he sinks the second. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Defended by Jones. Clarkson outside. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Jogic outside. Pass to White. DeRozan outside. Back to White. There's the three. Doesn't go for him. Now the Jazz take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. As they say, live by the three, die by the three. When you're too perimeter dependent, it's hard to maintain consistency game in and game out. You would have liked to have seen them make some adjustments and attack the rim, but they just kept firing from distance and couldn't get much to fall. Now here's Sexton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I mean, Jordan Clarkson is huge in the Philippines. His family with roots there, traveling out to Manila with NBA cares, drawing huge crowds. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And Clarkson in 2018 suited up for the Philippines national team. NBA Clarkson's NBA games are a must-watch in the Philippines. Kids watching Clarkson's games in the morning before heading to school. They say, forget the cartoons. We want to watch hoops. And so Clarkson nails both of them. And for Chicago, they're shooting a low 30% from the floor. Pass to White. Let's it fly. The Bulls with another miss. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. Here's Sexton looking for his first basket still in this one. There's a screen. Clarkson for three. And another miss by Utah. Chicago trailing here. Now here's DeRozan. Big time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. Outside Jones. Pass to White. Down to five on the shot clock. Jones sets a screen. White can't hit. The Jazz have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Clarkson against DeRozan. Gay outside. Over Jones. Utah, the rebound. 
and he banks in the layup. Six points for him. Oh, he'll wear you down, but the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley oop up top, hammer it home. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And Utah calls time here. November. Let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at Chicago, not the start they were hoping for. They're in the bottom half of their conference. Checking out the Bulls. When you look at their roster, they're talented enough to turn this thing around. But so far, the season has not come together for them the way people predicted. Yeah, I'm not sure this can be written off just as a slow start. I think this might be the team that they are. Now here's Sexton. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Shoots over Levine. No good off the back of the rim. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. White against Bledsoe. White, the pass to Williams. Here's Levine for three. And the three-pointer goes. Levine's got eight. How about the confidence that Levine has? Feels like he can take these shots whenever he wants. Pass to Markkinen. Knocked away. Stolen by Caruso. Here's Levine. Intercepted. And here's Sexton. And here's Markkinen. He's covered by Levine. Got a piece of it. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Olenek. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. And the foul Ooh, on Alex uh, Caruso. That's his first foul. To Chicago making some changes. Andre Drummond has checked in for Williams. And it's Desumu in for White. Butso with a screen on Caruso. Sexton misses. Chicago has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Levine passes to Drummond. Here's Bradley. Pass to Desumu. Six to shoot. And he lobs it up top. And the jam by Drummond. Showing off some mobility there. When Drummond rolls like this, he's hard to stop in pick and roll. Caruso against Sexton. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Now here's Bledsoe. Screen by Olenek. Bledsoe against Drummond. Bledsoe can't get it to go. 
Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Here's Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. For most one-and-done players, it takes a couple of years to get going. Not the case for Con Sexton, averaging 21 points per game during his second year. And why is it, RJ, that Colin Sexton hit the ground running as pro? Yeah, I think it's his mindset. Con Sexton, he has zero fear. His game is translated well from college. Sexton is explosive and thrives in more of an open style. That free throw, no good. He's off on the second, and every team has him. Those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Grant? Well, be I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of the season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. So it's Utah now, following the bucket by the Bulls. So outside, pass to Sexton, shot to stop the run. Pure from three-point range. Sexton's got himself on the board with a three there. What vision from Bledsoe. A point who can score it and dish it. Here's Levine for three. The rebound by the Jazz. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And now it's time to look at the teams that have really impressed shooting from the field during the last 10 games. The Bulls, fourth. It's been a great run for them, kind of shooting the basketball. You love when multiple guys get into a groove at the same time. Can't get the first one. Vucevic, he's checked in for Bradley. So he comes up empty at the line. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Something that got Laurie Markkinen on the NBA radar was his lightning fast release. He's got a quick and accurate catch-and-shoot jumper as you could ever want. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Levine. The Jazz making their last shot. Caruso finds Levine. 4-3. That shot, no good. And Utah will come the other way. Bledsoe goes in. Snaps the way. Here's Desumu. He's covered by Bledsoe. Yep, that one goes. Vucevic has got six. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Inside. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Fourth team foul. Thirty-two seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Markkinen. On the wing, Bledsoe. Just three to shoot. A three from Sexton. Overall, struggling to get buckets from three-point land this half. Another miss. Two for nine so far. Steps back. Left side, Levine. 
over Sexton. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Bulls up by four. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks a lot. Coach Billy Donovan here with us. And Billy, what have you thought about the defense in the first half? Did a pretty good job, you know. Uh, Fouled a little bit too much, but overall it was a good job. But we got to do a better job offensively ourselves. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Hello, everybody. No lack of drama tonight. The Utah Jazz might be taking this one all the way down to the wire. Production from the bench is a must. The starters can't carry the load all game. Make some match the lineup moving forward. Keep the guys fresh. Seems like the bench needs to find some motivation. And let's focus now on the two opposing guys who were battling in the first half. There were sparks out there. This reminds me of how the league was in my time. Amazing battles at the center position most nights. Kenny can attest to that. No, I like it like it is now, brother. Man, them threes flying up and those big men sitting on the bench. Yeah, I'm going to sit you on your bench. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing here from Andre Drummond. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? The way to limit those offensive boards, it's just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Then there's Rudy Gay. And that's the group for Will Hardy as we begin the second half. Not afraid to go inside. DeRozan even picks up the whistle that time. DeMar DeRozan at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from DeRozan. RJ, you were in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate <laughs> that. Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Utah trailing here. This one for three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number seven tonight. Ball outside. Pass to Williams. Now Levine. Shot from 12. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. Levine's got 10. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Ball against Sexton. DeRozan with the rebound. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Vucevic, a screen on marketing. Back to DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. And people forget that DeMar DeRozan has competed in multiple dunk contests. This man has elite balance. Now here's Sexton. He's got five. Let's it go for 14. The Jazz again can't hit. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Ball passes to Williams. Outside Levine. Williams, a screen on Clarkson. The 
Levine with it. Now guarded by Gay. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. No good on the free throw. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for Utah. And the Bulls also making a change. Dragic is checked in. Good on the second one. Players with this type of athleticism at Zach Levine, historically, they keep people watching on TV and they keep people in the crowd. Why? Because you never know what you're going to see from them. Now here's Sexton. He's got five. On the wing, Clarkson. He's covered by Levine. And there's the foul. He'll go on DeMar DeRozan. That's his first foul. Pass to Sexton. Levine against Clarkson. Looking to end the drop. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And checking out the leaderboard, here are the most prolific small forwards over the last ten games. Second is DeMar DeRozan. And these are some of the most dangerous players in the league. Just capable of getting hot and taking over a game in the blink of an eye. There are so many great scores at the small forward spot in the NBA. To make this list, you've got to have a ridiculous amount of firepower. And that one falls for Clarkson. So Clarkson nails both of them. Chicago leading. Dragic outside. Pass to Levine. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first person. That one's on Clarkson. A springing athlete. Everybody knows about Levine and his bounce. He's just hard to check. And look, he was fouled right there. Shoot two. That free throw good from Levine. Makes both free throws. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Outside Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. Gay against Williams. Clock at six. Here's Horton Tucker. The Jazz with another miss. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Dragic outside. Vucevic, the pass to Levine. On the wing, DeRozan. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got his third assist of the night. Pass to Sexton. Clarkson with the ball. Fires from deep. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Things have been a little bumpy coming into the second half. Five straight misses. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. Here's Clarkson. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. 
Clarkson's got 10 points in the game. Clarkson against Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Clarkson. Here's Levine. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. He's not the biggest guy, but it's the explosiveness, the athleticism of Levine that makes him so difficult to handle on that interior. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Bledsoe, he's checked in for Sexton. Both free throws good from Levine. Utah has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Bledsoe, pass to Gay. Now Bledsoe. Gay, a screen on Dragic. Clarkson for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Levine's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Dragic. And the layup is good off the glass. Maybe they expended too much energy in the first half. They just look tired here on the defensive end. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Now here's Bledsoe. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That one's wide left. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Quite good. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Challenging stretch here for Utah. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Let's hope finds Clarkson. Beyond the arc. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. Pass to Levine. Outside White. The three. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. Utah has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Gay. It's hauled in by the Bulls. At one point, they led by 16. Here's White. Clarkson with the defensive effort. And let's be honest, they're winning in spite of his atrocious shooting performance. And the 10-footer finds the target. Give him eight. He's getting after it, but needs some help if they're going to get it done. For Chicago, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over.
both teams changing it up here. to White. Bradley sets a screen. Tries a 10-footer. Here's Jones. The shot that time not on target. Gay with the defensive effort. Utah's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. And here's Bledsoe. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And Here's the sumo. Pass to White. Bradley sets a screen. Good job, Kyle. Kelly, a limit. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Bulls, Kobe White taking two shots. First free throw is good. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Caruso, the pass to White. Throws it up high and stolen by Markinen. Bledsoe outside. Spins. Pass to Markinen. He's guarded by White. And that one's good. Markinen. Markinen's gotten his third basket of the night. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Here's the sumo. Rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded by White to the inside. Kicks it out to Bledsoe. The three is up. No good on the shot. And the Bulls go on the other way now. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Desumu. Sets a screen. Six on the shot clock. On the wing, Bradley. Outside, White. Takes a three. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got five rebounds tonight. Bledsoe outside. Pass to Markkinen. Down low. Here's Olenek. Another shot. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Olenek's got four points now in the quarter. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Now Caruso. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. To the 
paint. Jones. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Jones Jr. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. The Jazz making a switch here. Sexton's checked in. Andre Drummond is checked in for Chicago. DeRozan comes in for White. Jones hits them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Olenek against Drummond. Knocks it loose. To the inside. Back to Caruso. Sunmu for three. And that's not going to go. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. On the court for Chicago. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Andre Drummond. And then it's Goran Dragic. Then there's Ayo Desumu. And it's DeRozan in at the three. The small forward. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense. Not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Desumu on the wing. He's covered by Clarkson. Pass to Vucevic. And the power finished by Vucevic. Rolling with purpose off the pick. Vooch, impressive basketball IQ, is really featured in screener roles. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Levine, he's checked in for Chicago. Coming on to the floor for the ball, Zach Levine. In, the pass to Sexton. Down low. The six-footer. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Now here's Dragic. DeRozan outside. Four on the clock. Over marketing. Rebound, Utah. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Olenek passes to Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. Back to Sexton. There's the triple. Drummond grabs the miss. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Vucevic with it. And here's Levine. Let's go with a three. It's not going to go for him. <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. 
Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Sexton. That one a little long. For Chicago, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. DeRozan passes to Drummond. Back to DeRozan. The Bulls with another miss. They say it's a make or miss league, and there's sometimes that you, you miss. Dragic against Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. Over to Rosen. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist by Sexton. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Now Vucevic fires the three. And again, Chicago no good. The Jazz have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Covered by Vucevic. Outside Olenek. For three, Sexton. And it's Chicago with the board. Vucevic has got 11 rebounds in the game. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Levine finds Drummond. Over Marketing. The shot by Drummond, no good. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. On the wing, Sexton. Olenek passes to Markkinen. Here's Clarkson. Olenek with a screen on Levine. And that one's good, Clarkson. And it's now only a five-point Bulls lead. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. also making a change. Williams has checked in for Drummond. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan was saying to the team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Levine. The offensive rebound. Three-pointer, Vucevic. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got six assists now in the game. Sexton with it. Pass to Clarkson. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. And they've really relied on him down the stretch. Vucevic, a screen on Clarkson. The three. Levine can't hit. The Jazz have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Now here's Clarkson. 
Gay, a screen on Dragic. Sexton with it. He's picked up by Levine. Let's the three fly. And it's Sexton with the three. And now just a three-point Chicago lead. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Williams with the screen. Here's DeRozan. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And the Bulls lead by five. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. Pass to Sexton. Now here's Clarkson. They set the screen. No good on the triple. Chicago's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Tipped. Oh, it's stolen by Gay. Sexton against Dragic. Sexton passes to Clarkson. And here's Sexton. Gay, a screen on Levine. Just five on the clock. Here's Clarkson. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And that'll be Utah's ball as it goes out of bounds. Jazz able to keep possession. And the Bulls making a change here. Desumu's checked in. Marketed from long range. It's rebounded by Levine. Levine's got six rebounds in the game. Over Clarkson. Here's Vucevic. And that one's good. Nikola. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. In the fourth quarter, he's gone three for four. They've really needed it. Outside Sexton. Levine against Clarkson. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. Oh, here in the fourth quarter, he's five for seven from the field. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. But there is for your cast after Damn, Jesus. And Chicago has possession. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Desumu. Vucevic, the pass to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Desumu can't hit. They managed to get the rebound, but that's an area where they've been struggling tonight. Clarkson against Levine. Back to Markinen. Oh, and he got he's fouled on his foul. way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. 
And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Bulls. For the Jazz, Lori Makina, two shots. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Chicago leading. Timeout called. The Bulls. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Get back. Levine against Clarkson. Levine gets the bucket. Levine. Levine's got nine points now in the second half. Agile play by Levine, finding his way around the contact to get a shot. Two minutes remaining in the game. Levine against Clarkson. And perfection right through the net. Clarkson's got 12 now in this quarter. Hey, draw him up a solid play. Get him an open look, and he delivers. And late in games, throw out those analytics. Give me the mid-range. The shot, it just works. And the basket by Desumu. Utah with the ball. They trail by six. Minute 32 left in the final quarter. Here's Clarkson. That one no good. Some solid defense from Williams. Chicago has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Here's Desumu, defended by Gay. Pass to DeRozan. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Laurie Markkinen. I love watching DeMar DeRozan and track contact on the way up. He's just fearless getting through that contact. the first one 
And that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. And Utah calls time here. Time for three. They're down by eight. 107 left in the fourth quarter here. Seven left to play in the fourth. Here's Clarkson. And that one hits the back iron. Chicago has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Levine. Williams with the screen. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Chicago, Zach Levine at the line for two. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Clarkson against White. Inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Williams is checked in for Zach Levine. Coming on to the floor for the ball. Patrick Williams. Defended by Jones. Pass to Horton Tucker. Six to shoot. Gay with the ball. And another miss by Utah. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. And here's White. The Bulls win it.
exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much. Damar, a big time road win for you guys. How were you able to get it done? We came out aggressive, both ends. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, it's a great team. We understood if we came in here and played with the intensity that we know how to play with, uh, we could walk out of here with a victory. You matched that intensity. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. Now our New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine.